all right folks so in this video what i wanted to cover is how you can build an autonomous react agent in lang graph so just wanted to show you how you can simplify uh, design flow of a lang graph agent with the react framework and how you can make it a fully autonomous agent with minimal number of steps right so first of all you can see like few of the installations which are required now what people generally do is like if you want to integrate a lot of tools or function call in your agent building step what people generally do is they keep on adding a lot of nodes and they kind of build this complex architecture where you need to manually route using the rlm to different nodes and then you will kind of generate the final response right so in this uh, video what i will try to show you that how you can simplify this whole integration of different tools and using a react framework how you can simply adding a single node you can like keep on doing the tool calls and based on that the design flow would be much more uh, simpler right so uh, then what i am doing here is i am initializing the key for open ai and the tabuli so the tabuli we will use for doing a web search so that will also act as a tool in this uh, whole design workflow right so then i am initializing the tabuli tool and then i am creating few of the functions so these functions are nothing but simple multiply add divide uh, this all these functions i have created so this is just for illustration purpose then uh, you can take this design and then you can like integrate to your use case and this functions may be a complex uh, data pooling from different sources maybe a web search uh, maybe a rack call so uh, all this function you can use and then what i am doing here is i am creating a combined tool object so there i am mentioning the all of the tools that i have at my disposal like add multiply divide and the tabuli tool so this four tools we have then i am initializing the llm so the gpt 40 mini that i am using here okay so then what i am doing here is i am binding those tools to the llm so you can see like llm dot bind tools then i am passing the tools as a parameter to this bind tools function and i am also mentioned that the parallel tool call is false right so maybe in the future video we will see how we can also do a parallel tool call using this uh, concept but here uh, we are just binding the tools and then what we are doing here is we are creating a system message so there i am writing like you are an helpful assistant tasked with performing arithmetic and search on the inputs right so this is the system message which i am creating then i am creating the the standalone node which we actually the only node which we need so there i am naming it as uh, assistant and there i am passing the state with the help of this uh, message state so this message state can will act as a state machine where you can like keep on adding state messages and then you can uh, create the whole design workflow right so then i'm passing the system message and also passing the the initial message that is coming to this uh, function from the state right so once that is done then what i will do is i will start creating the graph so you can see i am creating a state graph uh, then i am adding the node so the node which i am adding here is the assist node which will act as a router so that will act as a autonomous llm tool so based on the input it may need to call a tool and if further tool calls are required then it will keep on doing the tool calls and we don't need to create a complex looking architecture which i have shown in the starting right so then i am making another node i am making this as tools so i am converting this uh, tools to a tool node using this function of lang graph which is tool node so then i am adding the ages so the first age is between the start to the assistant then i am adding a simple conditional age where we are again leveraging this tool condition act as a routing uh, function which will depending on the tool call uh, whatever the arguments that has been extracted and whatever the function or tool that has been selected in the previous state it on it will keep on doing the tool call until and unless the final output is generated right so then we will add a uh, edge 
between the tools to the assistant so this is kind of a looping back from the tools to assistant and then we can finally uh, see the how this graph looks like so you can see from the start we will go to the assistant so assistant will uh, looking at the input it will decide what tool call it needs to make based on all the four tools that we have provided as an input and based on that the control will again be sent back to the assistant if any further tool calls is required then it will it will keep on doing that and then it will uh, route the control once all the tool calls are done and the uh, autonomous agent kind of things that i have now have the final answer to produce the output then it will route the control to the end node right and it will terminate the execution right so this is a uh, much more compact and it will act on the principle of react so based on the input it will either act act by choosing a tool then it will generate the output and then it will keep on selecting the tool until and unless the final output is generated right so here the question or the prompt is like add three and four then multiply the output by two and then divide by the output by five so you can see it needs to use a lot of tool calls first it needs to use the add tool call or the function call then it will multiply the output by two so it will use the multiply tool and finally it will use the divide tool call to create the final output right so then what we can do is we can uh, do this invoke on this react graph by passing the message and then you can do a pretty print to see how the whole execution happened right so first it will uh, get the user question then it will identify that it needs to do a tool call so the function name or the tool call name is add and it also identified the arguments that it needs to pass that function right so you can see a equals to 3 and b equals to 4 right so then from the question it uh, got to know that it it will again need to do a tool call so it will select the multiply tool and it will again pass the arguments so the a is 7 which is the previous tool call output and then it will uh, decide the b value which is equals to 2 so it will do the multiplication and then it will output 14 and then it again needs to do a tool call using the divide function so it will divide 14 by 5 and you can see the final result after performing all the operation is 2.8 right so in that way we can see that this whole process in a uh, whole process is fully autonomous here the manual intervention is not required so the llm uh, with its own intelligence it's kind of uh, deciding which are the tools it needs to call and then it's producing the final output or a different prompt which will actually need a tabulae tool call which will bring the information by doing a web search then it will do the further operations so the prompt which i mentioned here is tell me how many centuries code by Virat Kohli and tell me the number if we add 20 more to this right so then uh, what we are doing is we are doing this uh, react graph dot invoke and you can see at first it's doing a tool call and the tabulate tool so it will do a web search using this wikipedia link and it will fetch the information so it got to know that uh, the total centuries uh, scored by Birat Kohli was 80 now it knows the total centuries that has been scored so far by Virat Kohli but the next part is it needs to add 20 to that number and then produce the final output right so now it will identify that again i need to do a tool call which is a add function and it identified the parameters which are like 80 and 20 and then it will like perform uh, the final output right so you can see like the final output is like as of uh, january 2024 virat kohli scored a total of 80 centuries and if we add 20 more to that the new total is 100 centuries right so with this uh, i hope you got an idea like how you can build a fully autonomous react agent with lang graph and you can simplify uh, this whole architecture instead of making and adding a lot of tools and then making this uh, complex looking routing and a graph you can simply add the tools uh, to and then you can bind the tools to the llm and then you can uh, create this fully autonomous react agent right so i hope this i will end this video thank you see you in the next video